So I think that before every video that I get into, I'm going to start inserting a quote or like a motivational message or just something that may resonate. It may resonate with me. It may resonate with you. It may just be something that I feel like, oh, somebody need to hear this. So, oh, it touched me. And I'm going to add one that touched me because this recently happened to me. And let me move my ass out the way so I can add it right here. And it's basically saying that people will real life hang around you to steal your ideals and your creativity. And like I said, I literally just had this happen to me. Like I had somebody around me who saw that something was my passion and tried to take it as if it was theirs. And you know what? That just goes to show you how lame people are, but yet how much they notice you and I'm flattered but guess what until you do right by me and everybody in this motherfucking world and live right and be a genuine fucking human being everything you do gonna fail bitch I'm gonna shut your whole house down you know I know where y'all live at who you talking to okay, so I know where y'all live at it's gonna be a real What up, what up? It's your girl, Manny 2.0. Oh, and she is here with another motherfucking video. <laughs> if you are new here, welcome. Hello, you're gonna love it here, period. And if you are returning, welcome the fuck back, okay? Right? So, you guys, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be giving another story time today. About the time I got arrested again Bruh. and yes this happened in high school i don't want y'all to be thinking this is like a recent story or anything like that this is not recent so before i get all the way up into this juicy ass story make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you can get notified about all my upcoming videos period and if my lighting may seem a little off on this video y'all i freaking apologize because my ring light got a motherfucking glitch in it, y'all. Like, it's like, it's like this. And I was not finna be on camera with my light going like that. So, I apologize and all that good stuff. So, let's just get into this story. When I was in high school, right, I had this group of friends that I used to hang with. And I'm not gonna name all the friends' names in the group because that's just too many and all of them aren't relevant to this story. So, had this group of friends that I used to hang with or whatever, and one of my friends in the group, we're going to name her Portia. So, Portia is a lesbian, and Portia had a girlfriend that went to the school as well. We're going to name Portia's girlfriend Kelly. So, Portia and Kelly was in a relationship. We all went to the same school together, but it was weird because Portia never hung with Kelly, like... Y'all know how, like, in high school, you will be, like, walking each other to class and stuff. Little shit, never. They never walked each other to class. They was never with each other at lunch. Like, this was nothing, y'all. It was just crazy. But Kelly took it upon herself, I guess, to not like us, like the group of friends, because Portia would never hang with her. And I'm just lost because I'm like, that don't have shit to deal with any of us. Y'all feel me? Your girlfriend not hanging with you don't have shit to deal with not one, two, three, four, five of us. Like, period. Like, I don't know if she put it in her mind or in her head. Like, we're telling Portia, don't hang with you. But no one was doing that. She just wasn't hanging with her girlfriend. And why, we don't know. Maybe she just didn't want to hang with her. But, like I said, Kelly took it upon herself to basically beef with us. Like, literally, every day at school, Kelly would, like, see us roll her eyes like y'all it used to just be the most it used to just be the most and i'm like why is this girl beefing so hard with us all because her girlfriend don't want to talk to her like this literally has nothing to deal with us so i remember one day and i'm going to name this friend out the group because this bitch is key to this damn story so this other friend we're going to name her nikki so and my ninth and 10th grade year in high school, I was in the IT program. So I'm coming out of the IT building with Nikki. 
So as we're going to push the door to come out of the IT building, we had already passed by Kelly, Portia's girlfriend. So as we're coming out, we're pushing the door. Kelly says, yeah, they got them scary ass hoes right there. I should have punched both of them in their face. I'm making sure I'm not tripping. I look at Nikki. Nikki look at me and I'm like, okay, so we really did just hear her say this shit. Do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? At this time in school, y'all, this gonna sound so bad, but I have been suspended so much in general, whether it was in school suspension, out of school suspension. I have been in trouble just so much in school that I was basically told, like, if you get in trouble again, especially if you fight, like, you're done with, you're expelled, like, you're not coming back here. Bruh. So I was really trying my fucking hardest, y'all, not to fight. And don't tell me what the fuck clicked in my brain, what the fuck told my crazy ass to do this, y'all. But me and Nikki went to the media center library, whatever you want to call it. After Nikki was like, oh, excuse me, not Nikki. After Kelly was like, oh, yeah, they're going to them scary ass hoes. Me and Nikki go to the goddamn media center, right? And we go in there because, you know, media centers, libraries, they got staplers, uh, paper clips, scissors, all that little arty, crafty type stuff in there. So we was like, okay, we're going to go in the media center. We're going to get us some scissors. Bruh. Please don't judge us. <laughs> We was like, we was going to get some scissors, right? But they only had one pair. So we ended up getting the one pair of scissors, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. So we in the media center. It's only one pair of scissors. So we get the one pair of scissors, y'all, that was in the media center. And we literally break them in half. That way it's like two pieces. Like she got a piece of scissors and I got a piece of scissors. Bruh. So y'all. Oh, God, what the fuck was wrong with us? <laughs> so, y'all, the scissors broken, y'all. We walking down the hallway. We was like, fuck that. We finna go do this, bitch. Like, what was we finna do, y'all? Because that sounds so horrible. But what do we have planned in our young teenage minds? What we was finna do? I have no idea, but, like, just crazy. <laughs> so, one of the principals stop us because he sees these... Well, let's just call them what they are. They're shanks. Bruh. That's what you might as well call them. They're shanks. So he sees us with these shanks in our hands and he's like, what, what is wrong with y'all? Like, what are y'all doing? So he like takes them out of our hands immediately, of course. He's like, what, what do y'all got? He was like, you know what? Y'all better chill out. Like, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to chill out. Like, I don't know what y'all got going on, but y'all need to cool that shit down all the way down. So, and mind you, let me just say this too. Thank God it was that principal that saw us because you have to think about it. I'm at school with some fucking scissors split in half like I'm finna go shank somebody like I'm in prison. I could have gotten expelled and put in jail right then and there. I mean, I ended up going to jail later in this story anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, okay, well, that didn't go as planned. And I knew I couldn't, like I said, I really couldn't get in too much more of trouble at school. Or I was done with. So we came up with this ideal, like, we gonna go to her house on the last day of school because people was giving us tea. This is the sad part about it. People ended up telling us, like, what time her people usually come pick her up from school, what time they be getting home, all of this, where she lived. So we knew all this shit, y'all. So we was like, okay, she lives right around the corner from the school. So on the last day of school, we gonna leave, walk to her house. And at my house at the time, y'all, I had so many bricks. I had so many bricks. And for you drug dealers that's watching this, no, I'm not talking about bricks. All white bricks. <laughs> I'm talking about bricks like cement bricks that you build a house with we had so many in our garage so i remember like taking like two of them to school that day y'all i met bitch my backpack was heavy as fuck stupid ass dumb ass girl <laughs> so i got these bricks in my backpack and i got this spray paint because we had spray paint too so we was like we gonna go to her school on the last day of, um we gonna go to her house on the last day of school and we gonna spray paint her house and we gonna bust out the fucking windows bruh badass kids 
So, the last day of school comes, y'all. And let me tell y'all how bad and grown we was. We had a whole plan in our head, y'all. I have to add this in. We had a whole plan in our head, y'all, that we was literally going, after school, literally, Zoom to go fuck this girl shit up, get on the fucking city bus to go meet up with one of her cousins. And at the time, there was this gym, y'all. If you around my age, you know what I'm talking about. There was this gym, making gym. And they used to throw, like, teen parties in there. And there was one going on that night. You know, it's the last day of school. So, y'all, we literally had this stupid-ass plan that we was going to go fuck this girl shit up, jump on the city bus, go meet up with her cousin, hang with her cousin, basically, until that night, and then go to this party and twerk and shake some ass and, hey, <laughs> stupid-ass girls. So, last day of school comes, and I remember, you know, bell rings, and of course, everybody's saying their goodbyes and stuff. Oh, bye, I'm gonna miss you, da -da. all of that. And me and Nikki, we ain't on none of that. Like, we ain't on none of that. We literally found each other, and we was like, bet. We literally found each other and was hauling ass. We was hauling ass to Kelly House, y'all. So, when we get to Kelly House, I don't even really know how to explain this without it sounding strange, but when we get to Kelly's house, I noticed that she doesn't really have a backyard. Like, she doesn't have a fence, a gate, anything like that. It's just her house, right? And basically her backyard, like if she was to open up her backyard, uh, her back door, all she would really see is bushes. Like, literally as soon as she opens her back door, it's just woods and bushes and shit. So... But what I also noticed, because this is very key and important, remind you, y'all, this is the last day of school. So this is daytime, broad daylight. And if I remember right, on the last day of school, they let you out early. So this is super early, broad daylight. Her house is like on a front street. She doesn't stay anywhere like ducked off or anything like that. She kind of stays on like a street where a nice little amount of cars pass and it's houses facing her house. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm like, okay, cool. Once I see the layout, that's why I'm telling y'all this. Once I peek the layout, I'm like, okay, bet. Let's bust out the back windows because they don't have no backyard. They probably wouldn't really come out this way. They probably ain't really going to notice this. Well, they might notice the window being bust, of course. But the spray painting later, yeah, they probably going to come out the door and be like, oh, shit, somebody spray painted our shit too. Like, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? So, I was like, okay, well, and it's broad daylight. So, I'm like, let's tag the back. Let's fuck up the back, bust the window, and be out this bitch, right? It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Y'all, please tell me why. Nikki, slow, dumb, retarded ass. Mind you, this was already the dumbest, most stupidest plan that we could have had. Nikki, dumb, stupid, retarded ass goes to the front of the fucking house, y'all. She takes her ass to the front of the fucking house. And gets the paint can of spray paint, y'all. And all I hear is it knocking. And if you've ever held spray paint in your hand, you know what I'm talking about. They look. Well, I can't really make it with my mouth. But you know, you can hear it like knocking in there. I just hear that and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I just hear the spray going. And I'm coming around the side of the house, y'all. This bitch is spraying like, y'all remember Disney Channel? Hi, my name's Manny and you're watching Disney Channel. Da, 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 da. This bitch like, y'all, she... She going to town. She going up and down, y'all. She all across the front window, all across the door. And I'm just standing there like. And before I can even get the words out of what are you doing, this lady says to her, hey, girl, hey, I see you. I see you. And I'm just like. <sighs> so at this point. I'm like, bitch, it's time to go because this girl did not stay in the best area. I'm more than a 99.999% sure that police just trolled that area on the regular. So I'm like, bitch, we got to go because this lady is yelling. She see you spray painting this house. And of course, she finna call the police. Bitch, they neighbors. Like, they stay right across the street from each other. They could know each other. So she could be calling them too. Like, all of that. Like, bitch, it's time to clear it. Like, you done fucked us up. Like, you done fucked up now. They're trying to spray paint, and I'm like, bitch, come on. Because she low key yelling in spray. I don't give a fuck that you see me. Like, y'all, dead ass. Like, no fucks given. I don't give a fuck. 
I'm like, okay, so bitch, I'm finna go. So all I remember is I took off, she takes off. So we ended up going down the street and we ended up walking through like a middle school. And at this point, we made it across the street to a, a little rec center. It's Dade Street Rec Center. So we made it there and we thinking, we in the clear because it's a recreational center. You get what I'm saying? It's the last day of school. People let out. They probably just see some girls walking thinking we going to the rec center because people go there for snacks. It's a playground. You know what I'm saying? Basketball. Like, you don't know what I'm going here for. Like, so we thinking we in the clear. Like, okay, we just basically blending. Wrong. Bitch, we did not motherfucking blend at the fuck all, y'all. That police car crap up on our motherfucking ass and he was like hey what school do y'all go to so we telling him like gabby or whatever he was like what's y'all names please tell me why nikki and i don't remember what she said but nikki gives a name that is not hers okay so when he goes to ask me what's my name my stupid dumb ass does the same exact thing, gives a false fucking name. Bruh. And in my ninth, 12th grade, stupid, dumb mind, you feel me? I'm not thinking about, bitch, that's an extra charge. Y'all, if I can find that one post, I'm gonna add it in here too, cause I seen that shit going around Facebook. Like if you get pulled over by the police or whatever, what would be your fake name? Bitch, my name is going to be my name. My stupid, dumb ass did not even know that was a whole nother charge, but I'm a kid, ninth, 10th grade, so. Yeah, so she done lied about her name. I done lied about my name. Of course, we probably looking suspect in a motherfucker. You, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could. So he ends up taking us back round there. And the lady basically IDs both of us because she was like, yeah, she was the one spraying because they didn't catch me in the physical act of spraying because like i said i was in the back she was like yeah that's the one that was spraying and that's the one that was running with her da, 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 da. so y'all at this point in time when we have to go back over there we're sitting in the police car the whole time y'all kelly is there now kelly's mama's there kelly daddy there like the neighbors outside it's like a hood it's like a whole hood thing going on right now y'all so, I remember basically them arresting us or whatever. Of course, of course, we just vandalized somebody's home. <laughs> so, I remember them arresting us or whatever. And I remember as we was leaving, she was waving at us like, bye. Yeah, that's why y'all hoes going to jail. Like, of course, she she hyped up. But we hyped up too because we like, bitch, that's why your house fucked up. Like, you stay on a front street, bitch. Your, your whole shit fucked up when people drive by. It's going to look like a trap house, bitch. The bando. Ha ha. So, that's how we feeling. So, I remember being handcuffed. Me and Nikki in the back seat. And we still, like, finding a way y'all to, like, shoot a bird. Like, <laughs> We get arrested. Here I am in the juvenile detention center, whatever you want to call it, again. And I had to get a fucking mug shot again behind this dumb ass shit. Now, I'm trying to remember everything that I got charged with this fucking time. Bruh. Um, I know it was definitely vandalism. Um, giving a false name. Uh... I think that was it, honestly. Um, but I know our consequences to it because we were young. We weren't adults. I know we had to, like, write a letter to her family, like, basically apologizing for what we did. And that was nothing to me because I didn't care. Like, if you know me, I love to write. I love to read. So I'm just like, bitch, we can type this up in no time. But, yeah, we had to, like, write an apology letter. We had to uh, fucking, oh, yeah, we had to clean the fucking cemetery, cook for the homeless, feed the homeless, because that was our way of paying restitution. We're young. We ain't got no fucking jobs and shit. So, of course, like, if our people gave us money here and there, we would put it towards restitution. Because I think our restitution was, like, $1,200. And that's a lot of money when you in the ninth grade. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I believe our restitution was $1,200. So, we basically got paid like it was a job hourly to pay our restitution back and i remember us having to do that y'all so of course after that shit happened um we didn't have no more run-ins with kelly um 
me and Nikki not even cool no more. I don't even remember why me and Nikki fell out, but fuck her. Whatever. Portia is still doing good in life. Of course, Portia and Kelly are not together. This was some old, long ago shit. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up. Boop, boop, boop. And if you didn't pay attention and do what you was told to do in the beginning of the goddamn video, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. See ya.